Hello, I'm Greg Jamian, and welcome to Boomer Health at Home. As more baby boomers receive medical services at home, there are many questions that pop up that require sometimes quick answers. I have put together a series of short segments with healthcare professionals that will help explain how things work along with answers to common questions found in home-based care. I hope you find the following information helpful. Hello and welcome to another episode of Boomer Health at Home. I'm your host, Ryan Donnellan. Joining me today is RN, Lisa Plinus from Ameristaff. Hello. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, traveling abroad. And traveling abroad can be a stressful situation, especially if it's your first time doing it with all the things you need to worry about. So we've compiled a list here of 10 uh, ideas and suggestions to maybe help keep you safe while you're traveling. Lisa, thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. So the first thing we'd like to talk about is make sure when you are traveling to keep an eye on your belongings, in including uh, paying attention to uh, your wallets and your purses, especially if you have your, uh, your passports and things, but also to be mindful of your surroundings around you. And if something feels a little off to kind of get out of there. Um, if you do have a backpack with you, make sure you twist the lock. There's Most backpacks have a, a hook on them. You can lock that so it's always secure to your person. Um, now, how about things uh, like uh, uh, traveling with people? Do you have any recommendations on that? Or? Um, well, traveling with people, um, you kind of stick out like a sore thumb, tourist. <laughs> yeah. So just be very in tune to your surroundings. Um, there are some things that um, traveling abroad, out of the country, or in the country that they would recommend keeping, not keeping wallets in your back pocket. Um, that's pickpocket, you know, thieves. That's the first place that they, you know, try to pickpocket. Um, purses, you know, not keeping them over your shoulder, keeping them around your neck, but then not off to the side in front of you. As well as cameras, um, you know, cameras don't keep it on your shoulder. They recommend that you strap it with a buckle around the front of you so that the camera is actually in the front of you. Right. I also think, too, you know, people don't think about it as if they're, you know, day to day, for instance, you have a very pretty necklace on. If that's of value yeah. to you, to maybe consider wearing alternative necklace, leave that at home. That's the right. safest way while you're traveling. Yeah, that's is a good to idea. Yep. Mm -hmm. Prevention or. Um, I know mm -hmm. my, like my wife, for instance, when we travel, will not wear her wedding ring. She'll, mm -hmm. she has it. We bought a you know, little ten dollar okay. ring at the store yeah. that she kind of wears, so she mm -hmm. has something on. And that way, if, if it is not necessarily of sentimental value, mm -hmm. so if it does get lost or stolen, you're still covered. Yeah, and so yeah, it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a travel insurance that uh, you know you might want to talk to uh, any travel provider, AAA. Mm -hmm. You can look online, but something to kind of put on your checklist is travel insurance because you can't predict the future and if something does go wrong you at least want to have some coverage to to reclaim what was lost yeah, and as well as health insurance you want to do some research before you go and make sure that you have your health um, your health cards with you you know and you might want to call the number on the back and make sure that you know they're accepted uh, out of the country um, and any other, you know, research that you can do in case you were to get hurt there. Great, and um, so you're always going to be traveling with important documents. If you've never been out of the country, getting back in and all that, you will definitely need to have important documents on you and things happen. I mean, it might not necessarily be a theft thing. It could be damage or you left it somewhere or just anything. So it's recommended that you scan these documents. So if they are lost, you still have proof of them to kind of help ease that process. Yep, scan them to your email, yes, absolutely, so you can bring it up if you need to. Now, um, how about on, a, on the health aspect, mm -hmm. you know, being a nurse, if you know someone has pre-existing condition, what are some health uh, preparations they can make if they're going? Definitely to visit your physician, um, depending on where you're going out of the country, they do recommend um, sometimes, you know, pills to take to prevent malaria. Um, 
you know, make sure that your vaccines are up to date. Um, some countries, you know, the pertussis is more prevalent than it is in the U.S. So it's very important to check with your doctor and also to check the CDC website. Okay, so CDC website, mm -hmm. they can, you can look, I know we've spoken in the past about Zika virus yeah. and stuff of that so you can kind of see mm -hmm. what's in the area you're yeah. traveling to. Yeah, and the CDC website is great because it'll also tell travelers, um, recommend recommendations of what to do, what not to do, certain places, you know, where not to eat, you know, the food or drink the water. So it's very helpful website. Great, yeah, that's uh, that's something to look mm -hmm. at. Um, but, you know, looking at uh, travel too, something someone would not think of, but it kind of helps give them more protection is if you're gonna carry cash, great. Some places are cash mm -hmm. only. If you're gonna carry credit cards, great, that helps too, but keep them separate. So if one gets stolen, you don't necessarily lose, your, your whole bank mm -hmm. account doesn't go mm -hmm. running away in, in, uh, on a European vacation, right. but uh, recommendations, keep them separate. I've also heard of travelers placing money in different areas of their body instead of keeping a bundle of money in one one certain area where, well, if that's gone, that's it, you know. Um, so to kind of stash, you know, stash it in different areas, especially thieves too, if they do pickpocket you or whatever, you know, at least you have more cash left on you. Um, also not to use your debit card, credit cards, and like little, they especially uh, recommend not using them in internet cafes. Okay. Because if people around there can pick up on your information. Oh yeah, stolen identities. And it's, uh, that's good for even to know here, you know, when you're at home and not even traveling. Sure. And I think too it would help to share information with friends before you're going. Absolutely. So if someone you trust, maybe even scan document mm -hmm. copies and let them hold on to yeah. it or keep it as part of that. Yep. So absolutely. But so all right, well I mean, traveling is, is is not always scary, but these are some great tips to kind of keep you mm -hmm. safe. So once you put these in place, the only thing you have left to do is book a flight, get out there and have some fun. <laughs> so <laughs> be nice. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or need more uh, advice on, on anything you've heard today, please call us at area code 248-288-2270. Thank you for joining us, Lisa, you. and we hope you have a great day.